On Monday, official newspapers of Cuba's Communist Party published photos showing Fidel Castro alive and well visiting with a student leader. The state-run newspapers Cuba Debate and Granma published identical articles written by the student about his visit with the father of the Cuban Revolution. Lately, rumors of Castro's death have been circulating. This time, it was because of his conspicuous absence from the dialogue on U.S.-Cuba relations. Today, the United States of America is changing its relationship with the people of Cuba. On December 17th, President Obama and Cuban President Raul Castro announced the U.S. would restore full diplomatic relations with Cuba. But the normally outspoken Fidel didn't weigh in on the historic change until more than a month later on January 23rd. In a letter to the Federation of University Students published in a state-controlled newspaper, he wrote, I do not trust the politics of the United States, nor have I exchanged a word with them, but this is not in any way a rejection of a peaceful solution to conflicts. In 2006, Fidel ceded power to his brother Raul because of his health. Raul took full control in 2008, but Fidel's opinion is still important to Cuban foreign policy. In the letter about U.S.-Cuba relations, Fidel wrote that his brother is taking the right steps in talks with the U.S. For Newsy, I'm Connor Hickox.